Hi, we're the Coronado Cougar cheer team, and Thursday is our night. Operation Football is next. <laughs> Live from the News 3 Studios, this is Operation Football, powered by the News 3 Station Casino Sports Desk. I'm talking about Jesse. Yes. Hello and welcome <laughs> to a very special Thursday edition of Operation Football, the very best high school football show here in Las Vegas, as voted on by Jim Snyder and Marie Mortera. He's Jesse Merrick. I'm Brian. Hey, I like it, man. Even on Thursdays, though, too, they bring it. It's their night. That's what I'm talking I about. I like it's, that. It's their night. <laughs> hey, different day, same strong sports team, Amber Dixon at Centennial High School, where Two six and one squads, Palo Verde and Centennial, battled it out for Northwest League supremacy. So Amber, I am very interested to see who are Ooh. the top dogs. Hmm? Well, I would say that this is perhaps the top game of the week we've had this season. A back and forth affair with a little bit of controversy and a whole lot of scoring. The Centennial Bulldogs look to hand the Palo Verde Panthers their first Northwest League loss. First quarter and those Bulldogs lead 7-3. The handoff to Jordan Smith and the team's leading rusher with some quick cuts and sideline negotiation lead Centennial to a 13-3 lead. Third quarter and Palo Verde pulls out some trickeration. Quarterback Palmyro hits Luca Moriello, Moriello to Adrian Ellis who makes a one-handed catch and takes it to the house for a 36-35 Palo lead. Centennial's coach would argue that was an illegal forward pass though, but the Bulldogs would score the next two touchdowns. Colton Penny with the quarterback keep and leap and then another Jordan Smith run to seal the deal. Centennial wins 50 to 36. A couple hundred yards rushing from you tonight, two touchdowns, including the one to ice the game. What did you think of your own performance? Um, I think that it was definitely a well-rounded one. Uh, I've been working for this type of performance all season. Um, there's definitely a lot that I could work on. Uh, one thing we preach is no negatives. Always got to get back to the line of scrimmage, and uh, I didn't meet that a couple times. But overall, it was a dog fight, and uh, definitely stayed in it, kept strong. Centennial running back Jordan Smith would give Palo Verde props and the Palo Verde Panthers ought to be giving their kicker props. He truly kept them in this game. Zach Moore, he's a junior, three extra points and three field goals tonight. One of them for 45 yards, which is a pretty big deal for high school football. Reporting live from Centennial where the Bulldogs won tonight 50 to 36. I'm Amber Dixon. Back to you. Hey, showing the kicker some love. Hey, thanks, Amber. Appreciate it. Heck of a game for that. We'll follow it up with a trip to Del Sol High School where the Dragons welcomed in the 8-1 Cheyenne Desert Shields. And early on in this one, we saw a steady dose of the ground and pound as the Desert Shields leaned on their running game to get them all the way into Del Sol's territory. And once they got there, Majay Madison was so fast, the camera couldn't even catch him until he was quick. in the end zone. Yeah, that's, that's real quick right there. That 20-yard scamper gives them the early lead. So in the second half, it's still 8-0 when Del Sol started rolling. Damani Wilkes put the team on his back, driving the Dragons all the way down to the one yard line with that scramble. And in that massive humanity, he'd score a couple plays later to finish it off. But Cheyenne had a little something extra. Devontae Armstrong getting rid of that thing like it was a hot potato. Hits Anthony Egnor for the tutty on the quick pass. And it's 16-8. He'd add another for good measure, dropping the dime right to Ravion Brown. Whoo! Defender all over him, but it ain't no thing. Desert Shields stay hot, winning this one 32-8. And they clinch the 3A Sunset League title and get the first round by that comes with it. And, oh, that was a good game. You I like that. that. Now, the Southeast League standings are tight. Liberty looks dominant right now. They're 3-0. However, just behind them are two 2-1 two teams that are battling it out tonight to try to keep pace with the Patriots. And this could have been a game of the week. Foothill hosting the Green Valley Gators. Second half, the Falcons, Coy Riggin to James Mitchell up top. Ooh, all right, nice little touchdown, little pitch and catch. You got to like that. Foothill cruising along, though, until the Gators. D would change everything. Rolling right, rolling right, rolling right. Still rolling. Uh-oh, I think I may have forgot something. Whoo -hoo, the fumble. football. Oh, going back the other way. How about this? This scoop and scoop. You can look at the uh, kid with number 11 with his hand on his helmet. Like, oh, my <laughs> goodness, like, that actually oh, no. happened. The game would go into <laughs> overtime. Then we'll go into double overtime in double OT. Foothill. With the ball first and 
I think I'm going to drag about five, six, seven, eight guys into the end zone and <laughs> score a touchdown. However, Jesse, the extra point, no good. So Ooh. the Gators win an opportunity to score a touchdown across your body. It's okay. It's good for the score. Now the extra point to win the game. What do you think? It's 23-23, Jesse. And then you always count the on the kicker. Drum for me, please. <laughs> it's good. The Greenville, <laughs> Greenville, Green Valley Gators get the upset win in double OT. The humanity, the hilarity, 24 to 23. We always find a way, we always have, we had our team together. You know, I kept telling everybody to keep their head up. We all knew our jobs, we all knew what we had to do. We went out there and executed it, and we did the best we could. Keeping your mind just focused on expecting to win is what our coaches just drilled in our mind all week, and that's what we, that's what we just ran off of with. Ooh, I like that. Number 13 got a little Superman swoosh down here in the head. Yeah, hair. and everything, Good duck. man. Battle tested, too, for the Battle Red tested. playoffs. Yeah, I like that. Good stuff. Let's give everyone a chance to kind of catch their breath, you and I included. <sighs> yeah. All right, go Let's to the break. It. Get some scores. <laughs> Get out of here. Welcome back to our <laughs> extra special Thursday version of Operation Football. You know this guy, Jesse Merrick. I'm still just Brian Salmon. Hey, just Brian Salmon just is pretty Brian dang Salmon. good to me, man. Yeah, some more <laughs> Halloween goodies for you guys. Let's go ahead and get to it. Our Thursday Night Lights Game of the Week on our sister station, My LV TV Legacy, the Longhorns, Undefeated Desert Pine, the Jaguars, Legacy not intimidated on the road versus Ooh. the top team, Evan Olias to Aaron Holloway. Longhorns up 7-0. The Jags will tie it. At the half, and then in the third quarter, RJ Tagatasi to Brandon Thomas. Desert Pines up 14 to 7. Then the Longhorns were tied at 14, but oh, Devontae that Barnes, that's speed for sure, right yeah. up the gutter. Yes, 21 to 14, and that's how the game would end. Desert Pines remains undefeated with a tight dub over Legacy. All right, to El Dorado and Vegas we go. This is a kicker friendly show. Why not give Brian Botris some love for the leg? 45 yes, nothing Vegas. Yeah, it's that kind of night. Then with a minute left, the announcer out there at the game saying they're going to kneel it to run this thing out. But Sean Hansen ain't about that life. He's looking for style points, and he's got his eyes set on six more. Put all of them up on the board. You know, Brian, I wasn't a math major, but I believe if you add them all together, hmm. you'd get 52 nothing Vegas. Woo! Did Vegas win? Yes. I oh, think okay. They did. Gotcha. Just by a little. <laughs> all right. Chaparral, the Cowboys taking on the Coronado Cougars in this one. The Cougs. They would get out the gate and attack quickly. Number 13, Keegan Tharp with the dart Ooh. to Matthew Orlando. Yeah, that's a touchdown. Number 21 gets in there. He, he should feel happy about that. He's excited. You score a touchdown, you should be happy. The Cowboys would, would bounce back, just like Dallas did versus the Eagles this past week. Number 8, Damari White just over the outstretched arm to Ipu Taluli. This kid can run a little bit. That's a touchdown. All right, so the Cowboys Got their touchdown, but Coronado would come right back. Tharp again. This kid has got a beautifully placed Ooh. ball to dropping dimes. Yes, Andrew Montez. He drops the dime. And guess what? Who drops the dub in this one? Well, I think you may see the scoreboard coming up here, or maybe you don't. Chaparral. Yeah, zero to zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say someone won that game. Yes, I'm gonna say someone won that game, and someone may have won these games too. That we're gonna show you the uh, scoreboards up. Come on back. All right, welcome back. Time now for our favorite part of the show. It's called yes. what? Play of the night? Play of the night. That's yeah. what we wait for all day, even on a Thursday. That's right. The kid's <laughs> stepping out of the light or out of the dark into the spotlight. Jesse. All right. Up first, we got Devontae Armstrong on a two-point conversion. He weaves his way through about six wow. tackles. Yeah, and still manages to take it in for that two-point conversion. Nice work, kiddo. You got to like that. All right, so more from that game and more from Armstrong. This time, he delivers a pass to Ravion Brown. Give me that. Check it out one more time. Yeah, Randall Moss-esque, yeah. possibly. You got Moss? Just a little bit. I think you did Vegas. get Moss. 
Yeah, he got muscled as well. And then we got a little honorary mention one. Oh, that oh, doesn't look like it's going to make it into the show. Yeah, I thought I was going to make it into the show. Well, that play that Amber had during the Palo Verde game with the hook and ladder, that was absolutely Unbelievable. special. That one might take the cake. Rewatch yes. the show again, guys. All right. Well, we have some, yeah. We have some chime-in photos that we're showing. Uh, Liberty band out there. We've got Del Sol. Oh, okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Thank you for joining us, Jesse Merrick, Brian Salmon.